Hey everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing video for you all and it is from Louis Vuitton. Um, I'm ex so excited to show you guys this purchase. Um, this is a brand new release uh, from Louis Vuitton and it's in my favorite pattern and um, I just love it because I've been waiting, I mean waiting for Louis Vuitton to launch a bag in this style similar similar to um, the never full or the totally and um, so yeah and I figured that I would do the unboxing because trust me I was fixing to unbox it and play with it and everything um, and not do a video uh, because I haven't done one in a while and um, there's also several bags that I've purchased beforehand that I have not uh, shown you all and I'll do that separately um, I'm sure you all that follow me and that enjoy watching my videos want to see what I have purchased so I will do uh, reveal videos later on because obviously they've already been unboxed um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I purchased from Louis Vuitton so it came today here is the huge box and I like I said I am so excited because this is a new release um, but of course I didn't just buy it because it was a new release um, also I'm gonna go ahead and put out a disclaimer okay um, I don't usually put out disclaimers, but I'm going to do it because I've seen uh, a few nasty comments left by, you know, some trolls and, um, I'm, you know, it doesn't bother me, but it just annoys me because people, I can't believe that people waste their time doing it. But, um, you know, someone said when I was doing my fashion file unboxing video, they said that I look like someone that would clean houses and not someone who can afford something like this or you know just videos like oh you're too picky you know when I'm unboxing a pre-loved item because I'm inspecting the bag isn't that the whole point <clears throat> anyway um so I just want to make a disclaimer if you don't like watching these videos trust me you're not going to hurt my feelings you can just x out of the video and you know as if you've never stopped by um I don't feel that people who do people that don't enjoy these types of videos you shouldn't click on it because obvious obviously the title says unboxing you know so it doesn't say you know uh you know I'm, I'm gonna make a video about you watching the video i mean it's just it's an unboxing video clearly you're gonna see somebody unboxing somebody uh, unboxing something an item that they purchased and an item that they paid uh a lot of money for you know for and um, something they get excited about and if you don't like those types of videos don't bother watching just move it along do yourself a favor save yourself the time the energy um, and, and that's it because I just don't like that I don't like spreading the hate people spreading hate people trying to make people feel bad um, you know it doesn't work on me thankfully I have thick skin I don't you know you can call me fat ugly you can say that um, I have all these flaws. I look like crap. I look like a housekeeper. I look like a maid. I look like I look same same thing. I know I look like a cook. I look like a you know I'm this. I'm that. It doesn't matter because it doesn't bother me. No one knows how I live my life. No one knows what I do for a living. No one knows what my husband does for a living. No one knows uh, you know what bills I have. What I no one knows. So no one needs to tell me how to spend my money or how I should or what I should be doing shouldn't be doing. So just putting that out there for you all who love to troll videos and just try to be hateful. Just move it along. Do, do everyone a favor, move it along. Anyway, back to the fun part. It is, like I said, the unboxing of my Louis Vuitton item. And like I said, it is a new release. So I'm excited because, like a, you know, as I said... <laughs> I've been waiting for Louis Vuitton to come out with a bag like this. And I'm sorry if I'm out of frame. I'm trying to, uh, you know, cut into the box. I'm trying to be quick. I know I don't want to ramble on, but I had to put, do that disclaimer. I'm not going to do it again. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there for this one because ugh, it's, it's, it's kind of, I, I, it's fun for me to, to read the comments. I mean, if people, if people are being nasty, to me, I just laugh, but I know there's a lot of people who can't take comments like that or, you know, get upset, get bothered. 
and, and I feel bad for, for everyone, you know, who gets a upset or anything because it's, you know, it's hard to deal with stuff like that on, you know, on some level. So anyway, here is the receipt. Um, if I remember, I'll try, I'll show you the information, but all that information will be, and I'm usually in the box. Now this is a very, very heavy, heavy, heavy box. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it down on the floor and then I will, um, get it out of the box. I apologize for all the noise, but uh, this is huge, huge. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's see how I can hold it, hold it without dropping it. Okay. So here is the huge Louis Vuitton box with the beautiful ribbon. Uh, so gorgeous. I love it. Okay. Let me just untie it. And I'm sorry if my hair, I mean, my head is cut off on this. Um, and if you guys have been following me for a while, maybe if you noticed, I cut my hair. It was like down to my waist and I decided to chop it off. Um, I wanted something different. It was getting too heavy. It caused me headaches every single day. Um, you know, so I was tired of kind of like dealing with it and not knowing what to do with it. So this is a lot better. I'll probably go shorter as I continue to lose weight. So anyway, let me show you. Okay. So here is the little bat dust bag. So as you can tell, there's like a strap in here. And then for the main, main event, here is the dust bag. Can anybody tell what, I'm, what it might be? It's a new release. So I'll give you all a few seconds to guess before I show you. I'm excited for this. So hopefully, cross fingers crossed. I I'll, I'll love it. But anyway, here it is. And I have not seen it in person, so obviously it's a new release. Oh my God. Okay. Let me put the dust back down. Okay. Oh my God. I still like not even looking at it fully. But here is my new purchase. This is called the jersey and the damier a ben print oh my gosh just looking at it from here it is so pretty um with the black and i be believe that this is just called the abine color because they have the abine they have the cream and they have um the magnolia the pretty magnolia leather and the cream leather and trust me i was tempted to get the um the, the beige the cream color because it looks so pretty, so elegant with the chocolate brown with it. But I said, this is like my favorite combination. I love this. And I did purchase another bag before this that has like the same color combo, but it's just a different style bag. Anyway, let me just uh, show you. This is, like I said, the jersey or jersey is what is uh, written on the website. It, it is, I love the bag because it reminds me of the Totally, it reminds me of the Neverfull, but there's just like so many great features. Like I said, I haven't seen it in person, so I'll just go through it with you. Um, on the bag, the fact that I found out that it has a zipper, it has several compartments on the inside of the bag, um, it's got feet at the bottom, so here are the gorgeous feet at the bottom. Oh my goodness. They all say Louis Vuitton on the bottom which I am just so excited about. You can see that there, there's the base. It is a hard base as well, so you can feel it. So it's not gonna sag. Um, there's the back of the bag, the leather. It's got the gorgeous like, you know, key uh, clochette. And then it has two gorgeous studs on either side and it says Louis Vuitton Paris on there. But look at the handles, I love the brass hardware there it is like to die for I just I love that because you know the straps just lay flat down as you can see so there's the tabs here so obviously um, as I said in the beginning of the video it does have um, a, a shoulder strap and you can also put this on your shoulder as well so let me try it on as you can know I am full figure 
So that's what it looks on me. It fits comfortably. It doesn't hit the top of my uh, armpit. But look at this. I don't want to do a full, but look at that. It is a gorgeous bag. Oh my gosh, I'm dying here. So now let's get into it. There is what it looks like at the top of the bag. See what I mean about how perfect it is? It's like the Neverfull, but a little bit stiffer and it has a zipper closure, which is awesome, 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 because your items are safely in there. And it has the lock here. As you can see, it has the gorgeous lock and zipper pulls. I love this, I love this. I'll probably remove the lock just because I don't um, want it to get all banged up. Let me see. Oh my God. Let me remove this. So in here it has a little dust bag for um, the uh, lock or the keys if you want to remove that. So I'll remove the lock later. But it does have like these uh, here. So you can see the ends are leather. So this goes inside the bag but the zipper pulls from both ends. And it has a Damia Ben uh, leather, the treated leather here, and then the rest is the, the uh, leather. And I forgot the name of the, the leather. I'll put it in the description box, but it's like really soft leather. Um, so you can open it up all the way. And let me get the clochette. And I'm going to open up the lock and remove the lock because it bothers me when it's just clanky in there. I don't, um, I don't want it just to like, you know, just to be there clinging around or clanking around the entire time. So I'm just going to take the lock for now until I decide what to do with it. And I'm going to put it in this little dust bag. Okay. So, you open up the bag and it does have the tag. I'm going to show you the information right quick. So, here is the information on the bag. So, Jersey, Damier Ben, uh, what's it called? Tan and Noir, is it something Noir? Um, then it has the booklet with the uh, card in there. So there's the booklet. So here is the beautiful interior of the bag. Look at this, how gorgeous that microfiber lining is. Oh my gosh, this is to die for. Um, the back just says it has a stamping, just Louis Vuitton. So um, it's a made in the US piece, which I guess I'm fine with. It's pro they're probably all made in the US. And the interior of the bag has the part where I think it says, yeah, that's made in the US, US of imported materials, but that's a leather tab right there in the treated Dame Ben. So as you can see here, it has one slip pocket there. And on the other side, it has two slip pockets here for like a cell phone or something. This is my iPhone 7 Plus. And put it in here so it fits great there. Or you can just put it on the flat side pocket and it'll fit perfect there. So I love this. I am like so excited. I was like kind of a little nervous not knowing what to expect with this bag because like I said I've been waiting for Louis Vuitton to come out with a beautiful bag like this look at this you can have the tabs out like that if you want for the zipper pulls or you can just tuck them in but this is a great bag now I'm gonna measure the base and then the widest part Obviously, the widest part is going to be wider than the bottom. So I'm going to measure the base, the length of the bag, so you all can know the size. Um, because I think on Louis Vuitton, it has it at 16.1, but it's not. 
So it this is about 12 and a half in length at the bottom of the base of the bag. And then at the top, I think, is where it, Louis Vuitton measures it as 16. Um, actually, it's 15. So 15. They have it wrong on the website. Now, the height of the bag, and as far as like the height, because there's a little dip in the middle, I'm gonna I'm just gonna give you this height here because it really doesn't matter, honestly. You can still utilize the entire bag from top to bottom. So this is about just a little under 11 inches in height. And as far as like the width, um, the depth of the bag, the width of the bag, the bottom, it is about five and a half. So they were right on the money for that. Um, so yeah, the strap drop here like this, this strap drop, um, I'll give you measurements for that. So obviously, since there's a dip here, it's gonna be from top to bottom there. So this is about nine and a half inch strap drop, which is really good. Um, I believe it's a longer strap drop than the Neverfulls, so which is great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, um, I'm excited to see the strap, because I believe the strap is in Dom, the Trita Damier band as well. So she put it in a dust bag, which is awesome because I love that. I love when my straps are in, um, in uh, you know, separate dust bags. Oh, you know what I love about this? It has both leathers, both leathers. That's what I was excited about. So here is the strap. Isn't this gorgeous? This is like a new, the new style of straps that they sell. I love it. Look at the, the black leather with the, it being uh, the treated leather. That is just gorgeous. How it just, how it widens at the bottom. So you could see it here. <coughs> uh, excuse, me. <laughs> excuse me, sorry guys. At the top it says Louis Vuitton Paris. Look at that, it's gorgeous. So it kind of tapers, it does get, um, it's more narrow in the middle, but then it just, it widens at the, as it goes down. Look at this, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I am in love. I was hoping, I know how as crazy as it sounds, but I was praying, hoping and praying that I would love the bag as much as I loved it. Um, uh, when I saw it in pictures and stuff. So I am excited. So this is the way it looks here. Let me zip up the bag so it doesn't stay open. Um, I'll just zip it up there. Let me grab it from this side and zip it here. So, and then just, I'll go ahead and tuck in, tuck in the flaps on either side. I'm sorry if this video is long. Um, it's been a while that I've been on, so it's, I'm kind of a little rusty, which honestly, all my videos are pretty rusty. <laughs> okay, this is what the strap looks like with, I mean, this is what it looks like with the strap on. So, um, I think I'm going to move this. This should probably be, be on here, on this here. That way it doesn't like slide off when you're not using this strap and you're just using the long strap. So that's the way it looks. This kind of reminds me almost of the Estrella, and I used to have the Estrella, which was a great bag. I just didn't like that when you put the strap, it caved in, but this one doesn't. Okay, this is what it looks like on me. Like I said, I apologize, but I really can't get any further, but you can see the bag on the strap. It is so cute, so convenient to have both because it makes it look like two different bags. See? Get this. It's like two different bags. It is so convenient. Like I said, I love this. I hope they do that to a lot of their bags because I think that that's going to be like perfect. Like, like really beyond perfect. It is just, I love this strap. Such a gorgeous strap. So anyway, I hope I pretty much covered it. Um, it, I can do the strap drop here. Let me do this, the last thing, the shoulder, the shoulder strap like this. 
It is 17, almost 17 and a half in, um, in strap drop with this, the shoulder strap. Not, you can't, if you're shorter than me, maybe you can, nah, that crossbody is just way too short. It, it doesn't have an adjuster or anything like that, so it doesn't, you know, have different lengths. But I think, I still think it's perfect, perfect. So anyway, guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing. And um, if you have any questions, just leave it um, in the comments below. Um, like I said, I'll be back with other videos. I can do a what's in my bag or maybe a more uh, thorough review on this bag. But I wanted to do the unboxing and give you guys a little over overview because I haven't seen any videos um, online uh, or on YouTube on this bag and when I was trying to research a little bit more other than seeing pictures on it. So anyway, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.